I'm Tinsy Tarantula, and these are my spiders. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, and it's been a while, or a minute, since we did an update video on the planted Tanganyikan tank. Uh, I've got big plans for this tank next year. And currently, we've got tons of babies, hence why I'm not really touching this plank uh, much at the moment. But I'll flip the camera around, show you what's what, and talk for the plans for next year. So, we've got babies, as you can see, look. <laughs> look at all them babies there. We've got at least three lots of babies here. And over in that corner, there, there's a couple as well. So I've got about four lots of babies. Um, I've not exactly <laughs> counted how many they are because they're still um, relatively small. But we've got quite a lot of babies. I reckon there's at least maybe another 15 to 20 babies um, with both pairs. Obviously, this pair here. There's a lot more babies than this pair here. The plans for next year is, obviously I'm waiting till the babies are getting a bit bigger before I even touch it, but the plans next year is getting rid of the white sand, completely getting rid of white, and going for a massive bag of orange play sand. So we're definitely getting rid of the white, um, complete brand new sand form which will be orange just um, something a bit different because I found with the white sand um, some of the fish are white and the colours don't really pop that much on the white so you've got a whitish one there but they've got some darker ones so the plan is to completely get a massive bag of orange um, and get rid of all the sand that's old now. Obviously, I've got a box of reef rocks and stuff down here. Um, that I'll be adding more plants to. Must be more epipites. So, like Anubias, Java ferns, a couple of bits of old rock. But obviously, with these being shell dwellers, and obviously, you've seen what they do with a substrate look, you can't really have that many rocks in here because they move all the substrate around and I don't really want rocks smashing onto the glass and breaking the tank so there'll only be a few rocks but as you can see we've got some Anubias for the time being but like I said as you can see they cover the rocks with sand as well so and because these are shell dwellers and obviously they spit sand around, move shells and stuff. You can't really have planted tank, hence why it's literally a... It is a planted shell dweller Tanganyikan tank, but it's more epiphytes. So I'll be using some of these rocks. Um, getting rid of them old reef rocks. Be adding them two. These two down here. With Anubias. I've got a cool plant for this big, massive old bit of reef rock. I found a cool plant that literally, it's like moss, but it's not moss, and it'll cover the entire rock in green. So that'd be something cool. Obviously, I'm gonna get another 40 to 60 shells. So there will be a lot more shells in there, but then rocks will be gone. Or the Anubias will be saved and put on a set of reef rock there and i've got a cool plant for that one like i said that looks like moss but it's not and it'll cover the whole rock in green um orange play sand another 40 to 60 shells and it'll look awesome but everyone's doing well as you can see but i've not really touched the tank that much as you can see they've all been digging and stuff but obviously the babies this generation of babies are actually getting bigger whereas this generation of babies down here have not long been born 
but they're all actually to a size where they're all eating crushed flake food, which is good. They get a combination of crushed flake food or rifers. But as you can see, these babies are awesome. There's so many. But I will do a cinematic in a minute, but I thought I'd give you an update and the plans for next year. Obviously, it makes sense to do it next year as well because the babies will be a bit bigger. And I'm getting new carpet in the front room, so it'll give me a chance to completely empty it. Um, store, the, store the fish in a bucket with a heater and a pump um, for a few days while I get the new carpet laid. And get all the sand out and stuff. So it's ideal to do it next year once the new carpet's laid. And like I said, it'll give me a couple of days while the new carpet's getting done to obviously take all the sand out drain it move it put all the fish put all the fish in a bucket with the shells a heater and filter or oh, I've got I've got air pumps with air stones for a couple of days while the carpet gets laid and all the old sand gets emptied then obviously when the new carpets um, laid down the tank will be back in the living room with the Obviously, the brand new orange sand, the plants, the new plants, and the new shells. So that's the plans going forward for this tank next year. <coughs> and the tank will be back in the living room. But as you can see, like I said, all the babies are doing fine. And we're actually going to give you a cinematic in a minute, but I thought I'd give you an update on what's what. Any problem sometime is when you order plants online, they come riddled with snails, but these lot find the snails, spit them out, eat them, or do whatever, so that's pretty good. So obviously with, I'll say, three lots of babies, we're going to have a massive mixture of more male and female. Um, so we've currently, we've got one, two, three, four five six seven eight about eight to ten big fish already then with the babies there'll be a lot more so there must be a lot more breeding in the future so it'll be good once these babies obviously filled up or she would say grown up to and while the new carpet's getting laid get tank emptied get the new orange sand in there Put the rocks in there with the new plants and just give it an awesome upgrade. So that's the plans, but we're going to do a cinematic in a minute and we're going to feed them. So I hope you enjoy the cinematic. And like I said, obviously once all the plants are sorted on the new rocks, I'm going to start actually adding a bit of plant fertilizer um, just for the epiphytes to grow.
So as always everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos, then it would be awesome if you could subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment as it really just helped the channel out. And stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon. Bye for now everybody.